Hey everyone, the LSM launch roller coaster was added to OpenRC2 in a recent update. It uses the exact same track style as the Giga coaster, so you may be wondering how these two coaster types are different. In this video, I will go with you over the most important differences between these two roller coasters. Okay, the first difference between these two roller coasters is their trains. The Giga Coaster has these trains which are based on the trains of coasters like uh, Goliath at Walibi Holland or uh, Expedition G-Force which you can find in a park in Germany. Uh, these trains um, don't have sprites for a lot of elements. Um, yeah, uh, Basically they can go uh, up and down, uh, they can't actually uh, go vertical. And they also don't have sprites for inversions, so if your track has those, uh, you cannot really use this kind of train. Now, um, the, the ride also has yellow taxi trains from one of the official OpenRC2 expansions, but uh, I don't really see anybody uh, using these. On the other end, the LSM launch roller coaster, um, it has these modern twister trains, um, they're based on uh, trains that Intamin uses on rides like uh, Terron at Fantasia Land or a cheetah hunt and uh, yeah, the OpenRC2 developers have actually gotten permission from Intamin to use uh, the likeness of their coasters uh, in the game for this new coaster type. Uh, what's special about these trains is that they have uh, sprites for a lot of elements, uh, pretty much all uh, inversions that are in the game and they can also go uh, vertical. So uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes them very uh, versatile. And they're one of the only one of the few trains in the game that can actually do all inversions. Even the newer ones, like Zero-G rolls. Okay, the next difference between these two coaster types is that the LSM launch coaster can also go vertical. Uh, the vehicles have sprites for that, so you can uh, build the, the track vertically if you want. And when you see that when I try to do that for the Giga Coaster, uh, I cannot do that. Uh, there's one exception for this. Uh, now I disabled it to show you. But if you have actually have the yellow coaster trains uh, available, then uh, you actually are able to build the Giga Coaster vertically. Because those trains uh, also have sprites for vertical track for some weird reason. Yeah, I've selected the yellow coaster taxi or the yellow taxi coaster trains now as you can see i'm now also able to build the giga coaster track vertically but it will still look weird if you use the normal giga coaster trains okay uh, another thing that the lsm launched coaster has which the giga coaster does not have is a lot of inversions to choose from for example we can have a large half loops if you want or you could uh, even make a, a large zero g roll there's a small zero g rolls there's uh, quarter loops, there's uh, vertical loops. There's just uh, a lot of uh, inversions uh, to choose from. If you want to build these inversions on the Giga Coaster, uh, you'll have to enable the cheat to, en allow, uh, to enable all drawable track pieces. But for the LSM Lines Coaster, all these inversions are available without using cheats. Okay, the next change that uh, has been made is that the Giga Coaster no longer has boosters. Now, I saw some mixed responses for this, but the reasoning from the OpenRC2 developers that I read was that the Giga Coaster basically already was overpowered and that there are no real uh, Mega Lights, which this coaster is based on, which actually have boosters. And uh, basically, the reason boosters were probably added to this ride type was to so that rides like uh, Terron which we know Chris Sawyer is a fan of, uh, could be emulated. So instead, uh, the boosters have now been given to the LSM launched coaster. Now, if you still want to build boosters on your Giga coaster, you'll have to enable the cheat to enable all drawable track pieces. And then you can also build boosters on your uh, Giga coaster. Now, Something else which you will notice here is also that the uh, booster sprites are different. So for the LSM launch coaster, these uh, booster sprites are new. And for the Giga coaster, these are the booster sprites taken from Rollercoaster Tycoon Classic, if I'm not mistaken. Now, and here's another fun little fact. Uh, if you actually enable uh, 
the operating mode for a powered launch, you will also see these booster sprites in the station here. Another element which used to be available on the Giga Coaster but is no longer there is the launched lift hill, which can now also only be found on the LSM launched roller coaster. It also has gotten some nice sprites for it. Uh, if you still want to build them on the Giga Coaster, of course, you can just uh, enable the cheat to enable all drawable track pieces, and you can also find it here now with the sprites that it originally had for it. Okay, that also brings me to the next difference between the rides, which is their operating modes. For the Giga Coaster, the operating mode you can choose from is Continuous Circuit Mode and Continuous Circuit Block Section Mode. But the LSM Launched Coaster has some extra operating modes. So here we see Continuous Circuit Mode, Continuous Circuit Block Section Mode, but then there's also Powered Launch without passing station. And there's Powered Launch Block Section Mode, which is a mode you would uh, previously only find on the Limb Launched Roller Coaster. Okay, the next difference between these rides is in, the, in their color schemes. So if you build a Giga Coaster or LSM launched coaster, um, the ride will get assigned uh, one of the predefined color schemes. For the Giga Coaster, um, there's these color schemes that you can see here. And for the LSM launched coaster, it's these uh, color schemes. And the fun part about these color schemes is that they're all based on a real uh, launched Intamin coaster. So uh, the one over here, uh, this one's for Cheetah Hunt. Uh, this color scheme is for Terron in Fantasialand. Uh, this color scheme is for Maverick. And this color scheme is for the coaster Taiga. Okay, there's another uh, small difference in the booster speeds. Now for this, uh, I have uh, enabled the cheat to uh, enable all drawable track pieces so I could build a booster on the Giga Coaster. Now I had the boosters on the Giga Poster Giga Coaster, uh, they were really overpowered. Uh, you could set them to 215 km per hour if you want, which is really fast. Uh, for the LSM launched coaster, the maximum booster speed is uh, uh, a little bit lower. It's 107 km per hour, uh, which makes it uh, more in line with most other coaster types in the game. Now, there's also an element that the Giga Coaster has, which the LSM launched coaster does not have, and that's the cable lift hill. So if you build up your track like this, then over here we can find the cable lift hill. And when we use that, when you start the coaster, you will see a catch car rolling back here on the hill. And then it will pull the coaster up on the hill quite fast. And then over uh, the hill and downwards. And uh, for the LSM launch roller coaster, you won't find the cable lift hill here in the list. So if you like having cable lift hills on your coaster, you'll have to use the Giga Coaster track. Now, if you don't agree with the removal of boosters uh, from the Giga Coaster, just go to the cheat menu and enable the cheat to enable all drawable track pieces. It doesn't really gain you any other benefits uh, if you're playing a scenario. So I think this is a perfectly valid cheat to use while you're playing a scenario. Okay, and finally, now we're all coaster types in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, the coasters need to meet some basic stat requirements. And if they are not met, the coaster will get a penalty to uh, one or more of its stats. Now uh, here you can see uh, uh, a coaster for both of these types, uh, which meets the minimum stat requirements. So for the Giga Coaster, uh, it needs to have uh, at least a maximum drop height of 12 meters. Well, for the LSM launch coaster, it's only seven meters. I think the reasoning behind this is that these coasters mostly have a launch, so then uh, big drops are not that much of a requirement anymore. Now, the maximum speed requirement for uh, both of these coaster types is the same. Uh, I believe the maximum speed for these coasters should be at least 36 kilometers per hour. Now, um, these coasters both have a different uh, uh, negative G-force requirement. For the Giga Coaster, it uh, must get uh, at least a negative G-force of 0.4. And for the LSM Launch Roller Coaster, it must get at least a negative G-force of 0.1. And finally, the minimum number of drops for both these coaster types is two drops. If they have less than two drops, um, yeah, they will get a penalty to their stats. 
Okay, those were the most important differences between these two coaster types. Now, what I think we will see happening is that people will more and more start to use the LSM launch roller coaster since it just has so many more elements available by default. But of course, in the original roller coaster tycoon two scenarios, we will only see the Giga coaster since that one is the only one available. Now, some people may not like the boosters uh, being taken away from it, but if you feel strongly about that, just enable the cheat, enable all the drawable track pieces, and you can build overpowered boosters to your heart's content. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, liked it, please leave a like. It would really help out my channel, and I would love to hear in the comments what you think about this new coaster type. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.